today I want to share how to interpret the output from IBM SPSS software, but only for a simple linear regression output. For your information, IBM SPSS. So SPSS stands for Statistical Package for a Social Science. First, look at descriptive statistics output based on the example. Okay, like this descriptive statistics means you can find the value of n, range, minimum, maximum, mean, standard deviation, and variance. So based on the example, independent variable is h, and dependent variable is selling price. So number of data for this example is 8. Next, range. Range of machines age is 7 years. Range of selling price is RM9000. This one is minimum value or lowest value and maximum value or highest value. Mean column. How to comment? The average of machines age is 8.5 years and the average of selling price is RM13,500. So remember that how to comment the mean value. Don't forget to state the word average. Next column is standard deviation or S. So, S of independent variable, which is machine's age, is 2.0702 and S of selling price is 2.7255. And last column is variance, value for each variable. Next is correlation output. So, the word correlation. So, from this output, you can identify the strength of the relationship between the two variables using Pearson's correlation value. So, based on this example, look at the value obtained. Negative 0 0.937. That one is Pearson's product moment correlation coefficient value. So, how to interpret? There exists strong negative linear relationship between the two variables. This is linear regression output, ANOVA. So, ANOVA is stand for analysis of variance. So, aim of this output is to identify whether your regression model is significant or not. So, based on this example or this output, the dependent variable is selling price and the independent variable is age. So, independent variable known as predictor. Okay, predictor variable. Next, look at this value, SIG. SIG known as significant value or p-value. So, how to interpret the value? Based on the output, you got 0 0.001. Therefore, at 5% level of significance, there is enough evidence to state that the regression model between the two variables is significant. Why significant? The p-value obtained, which is 0 0.001, is less than 5% level of significance. Okay, this one is regression coefficients output. So, from this output, you can identify the value of A and the value of B. Recall back what is A. A is y-intercept or constant. B is slope. So, when you have the value of A and the value of B, you can form the regression equation or regression model, which is y equal A plus Bx. First, identify what is dependent variable or y. So, from this example, dependent variable is selling price. Next, identify what is 
independent variable x. So from this example, h is independent variable. Now you have identified what is y and what is x. Next, proceed to identify the value of a and b. Focus on this value. We focus on unstandardized coefficient. Okay. B stands for beta. Beta for unstandardized coefficient. So, from the output, what is the value of A? Direct the word constant. Therefore, a equal 23.983 and B equal to negative 1.233. This one, negative value means X increase but Y decrease. At the end, form the equation. So you got y equal 23.983 minus 1.233x. So that one is regression equation from the output. So now focus on this significance value. So this significance value or p value equal to 0 0.001 which is less than 0 0.05 therefore the predictor from this example which is h okay h h is a significant predictor towards selling price why significant remember that the p value is less than 0 0.05. That's why the H is become significant predictor towards dependent variable. This is output for model summary between independent variable and dependent variable. So based on the output, just one model between the two variables and then Notice that this is the word R. So R stands for correlation coefficient. And this one is R square. Stand for coefficient of determination. Okay. So first look at the value of R. Based on the output, positive value, right? Positive. But look at the coefficient's output. So coefficient output. Look at the beta value of b so b the sign is negative so negative value therefore r is related to coefficients sign of b so sign of b negative that's why the correlation coefficient should be negative value Okay, so R is negative 0 0.937. Therefore, there exists strong negative linear relationship between the H and the selling price. Remember that if you don't get output for correlation, just look at the coefficient output to identify either there exists negative or positive relationship look at the sign okay next r square which is 0 0.878 means at 7.80 percent of total variation in selling price of machine can be explained by its age and the other 12.2 percent can be explained by other independent variables that's all how to interpret simple linear regression output using IBM SPSS software. Assalamualaikum and da.